All right. So this is our Mindset Mondays for uh, the week of uh, uh, 8-7 here. And uh, a very appropriate topic, right? A very appropriate discussion that uh, really needs to be had today. And so um, all of the topics are relevant to trading and developing your mind while combining the skills that you need to crush this thing, okay? But uh, I'm going to, you know, I've been asked a lot of times about my trading being cerebral, uh, instinctive, uh, my view of money, my view of the market, how I'm able to do some killer moves. So if you go in our Discord and you check today, 8 7 2023, you'll see just on the futures, I'm up about 14K and just on the options side, I double that. Uh, a couple trades here. Pretty nice, pretty nice morning. Now, uh, we're, we're not about glorifying, um, you know, money. But the money is the byproduct of proper trade execution. You guys know me long enough to know that um, you know money is just a tool. And once you, the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll be better. Half the battle is what you think and how you feel about what you think. So our discussion today, our mindset Mondays, is a discussion. The topic: visualization and mental rehearsal. Visualization and mental rehearsal. How traders can use visualization techniques to mentally prepare for trading scenarios and improve performance. And we're going to talk about um, one of my favorite ball players and kind of derive or, or, or get some some practices from him. Now, you guys know um, I'm a sports enthusiast, right? And I talk a lot about sports and compare that to day trading. And it and it does. It, it maps perfectly. Because the determination, the energy, the effort, the mindset, the, 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 the toughness that you need to succeed and compete at the highest level in sports, well, it directly maps over to the market. So let's think about one of the greatest ball players ever, Kobe Bryant. That's my guy. I mean, he just wasn't an incredible competitor uh, early on and throughout his career. Through ups and downs, some loved him, others hated him. But everyone, everyone in his profession respected him. Isn't that something? Whether or not a person felt one way or the other, you could not deny his abilities. So whether you're into sports or not, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the person's abilities and how they got to the top. Well, as a legendary ball player, Kobe was known for his dedication and his commitment to improving his skills, both on and off the court, both physically and mentally. And we know that even after his retirement, I mean, the guy went on to win an Oscar, some screenplays, get involved in business deals. I mean, he was just flat out mentally sound. And those skills transferred over to other aspects of his life. So right away, you're going to understand that the skills that you have in other aspects of your life will transfer over to day trading and vice versa. I've said it once. I'll say it again. How you do everything, anything is how you do everything. So how you do anything, oh, well, that's, that's pretty much how you're going to do the next thing or everything. So it's about developing the mindset and the practice and the skills to carry over into the market to be better. Now, Kobe was a strong believer in the power of visualization and mental rehearsal, which he used throughout his career to enhance his performance on the court. Now, there's a couple of things that we'll, we'll talk about here in his career. All right. There's a few things I'd like to share with you and some techniques that he used. And, and for those who are in sports, or if you have a phone and you have access to Google, you can research it. You'll immediately begin to remember these events throughout his life. All right. So uh, we in his book, The Mamba Mentality, 2018, you were now Kobe discussed some things about how he he would play. So under the subject, how I play in the 2018 book, The Mamba Mentality, Kobe discussed how he used mental imagery and visualization techniques to prepare for games. He, he mentioned that he would mentally run through different scenarios in his mind, imagining himself making crucial shots, executing in critical moments, difficult situations, executing precise moves, right? strategizing against his opponents. He would see himself doing that, visualizing himself. This mental rehearsal allowed him to feel more 
comfortable and confident during actual games as he had already experienced emotionally. He'd already experienced the situation that was to happen already in his mind. To talk about mental preparation before games and interviews, Kobe would reveal that he would often sit alone in the locker room in a quiet space before games to mentally prepare himself. Now, any ball player that has played with Kobe, they all say the same thing. Kobe is different. Kobe was different. He would close his eyes and visualize the upcoming game. Going through plays, defensive strategies, potential challenges. By mentally rehearsing the game, he believed that he could improve his focus and decision making during the actual competition. Would you say it worked? Five rings later, I'd say so. And speaking about overcoming adversity through visualization. In the face of injuries and setbacks, Kobe Bryant used visualization to maintain a positive mindset and work towards recovery. By visualizing himself being better already, being healed and returning to the court, he could stay motivated and determined throughout the rehabilitation process, not seeing himself in that stupor, in that slump forever. He saw himself back on the court, shooting dunking, running the court, as though nothing had ever happened. And as it pertains to staying calm and under pressure, visualization helped Kobe manage, manage pressure in certain tough, tough situations. He would imagine himself being calm and composed during critical moments in the game. And this contributed to his reputation as a clutch performer. I mean, the guy was dangerous. You did not want the ball in his hand. He was one of the only players to play the game in our modern era that was unpredictable. He didn't have really a predictable uh, moves left or right that he would go to. So when the pressure came, he had already visualized the scenario and was able to execute. Now, it's important to note that Kobe's use of mental preparation, including visualization and mental rehearsal, was just one aspect of his overall approach to the game. His work ethic was even greater. His physical training was even greater. His basketball IQ, all of these things were on another level. And these were equally important and crucial elements that contributed to his success on the court. But make no mistake, the acknowledgement of the power of mental preparation and visualization served as a testament to how these techniques can play a significant role in an athlete's performance and mindset. Okay, so how does this apply to trading? Maybe you're not a sports enthusiast. Maybe you don't even know who Kobe is and you've been under a rock. All right, all right. We're going to talk about three aspects that uh, can help you in the market as it pertains to visualization and rehearsal, mental rehearsal, okay? Three things. The three topics are preparing for trading sessions, visualizing goal achievements, and building confidence. Again, preparing for trading sessions, visualizing goals and achievements, building confidence. The first, Preparing for trading sessions. Now, before, before starting a trading session, traders should take a few moments to sit quietly and visualize yourself in a focused and calm state. Imagine yourself analyzing the market with a clear mind. Think about your environment, calm, proper trade execution. In your mind, identify potential opportunities. What are your favorite setups? What are you really good at? How does it look? How does it feel? Imagine yourself executing this trade over and over and over with confidence. Think about every time you have done this trade, whether it's the doji setup, the hammer setup, the combo pack, the areas of interest, or any other KD setups, whether you've gone through the core training, 
You understand how to trade the futures. You understand volume levels. You understand reading the tape. Whatever it is, visualize your trading session and how it looks in your mind, how that trade looks in your mind. And do it with confidence. Say to yourself, I've done this so many times, I've got to take this trade and I am going to the bank with it. Be it a scalp or a long hold. You have to see yourself executing the setups that are familiar to you and that are consistent. That's preparing for trading sessions. Before each session, morning, afternoon, uh, morning, midday, and afternoon, this is what I want you to do. Point number two. Visualizing goals and achievements. Now, the traders can use visualization to see themselves achieving their trading goals and becoming successful over time. This mental rehearsal can provide motivation and a sense of purpose, especially during challenging periods in your trading journey. Has this ever happened to you? You join the Wealth Wells Discord. You get some training, and I'd like to see some participation from you guys. If this has happened to you, and don't lie, you join the Wealth Wells Discord, you've been inside the live here, or you've taken some training, and you start making some money, getting some nice trades in. But after about a week or a month, you hit a slump, and you start going on a losing streak. By a show of hands, has that ever happened to you? Yeah, yeah, it's happened to a few. It's happened to a few. Well, aside or in addition to the trading uh, skill development, you have to be able to visualize yourself achieving your trading goal and becoming successful over time through the adversity. Expect it. Understand you're going to have drawdown. Understand you're going to have a red trade. Understand early on you're going to have a red day, maybe even a red month. But this doesn't mean you have to blow up your account. It doesn't mean you can't have green weeks. It doesn't mean it has to last forever. But sometimes people get into a stupor and they stay in the stupor. They stay down there. They can't see themselves out. They can't see themselves, you know, ever getting better. They can't see themselves ever becoming a successful trader or successful financially as it pertains to the market. You've got to visualize your goals, visualize your achievements. That's point number two. Point number three, building confidence. Building confidence. You may think that having a discord, uh, certainly for some jabronis out there, for some folks who are scammers or just not the best trader, that's their end goal. Their end goal is to sell you a bunch of junk and, you know, Make that's how they make their money. Most of you guys, if not all of you who are in the Discord, who are who are new, certainly the older folks, they know, hey, I'm 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 profitable with my own trading, and I do it uh, certainly in the beginning because I wanted to build my own community, a nice safe space. Uh, the time that I spend with you and the resources, they have a value. You have to charge for it, no doubt about it. Right? You have to help people to see the possible and raise their standards. And so for those of you guys who've gone through my trainings, my setups, my core training, all the extra bonus stuff, you're like, man, this, this skill development in here is amazing. But you, you know, one of the hardest parts uh, for me as a, as a mentor, as a coach, one of the hardest parts is to get you to believe in you. I, I can teach you the skills. I can teach you over a three to five year period how to rock this thing. But I find it very challenging to get you to believe in yourself, to raise your standards, to expect more, do more, be more. So when it comes to building confidence, you have to use visualization techniques. Visualization can boost trader self-confidence by imagining successful trades. Don't just go down dream world and say, oh, I'm making a lot of money. I'm on a yacht. What gets you there? Don't just imagine, oh, I made a lot of money. Look, I can see my account up to a million dollars. Who cares? The trades is what you want to see. You want to see yourself executing a trade at 449.13 and taking that trade to 449.88. Done. I'm going to short this thing at 449.50 and I'm going to take profit at 448.62. Done. 
That's how you want to see yourself. On SPX, I'm going to take this trade at 4510 and I'm going to short it to 4500. Done. Then when I see a hold, I'm coming off of 4500 back up to 4508. That's visualize yourself. I'm looking for this candlestick. I'm looking for this volume. I'm looking for this metric. I'm looking for this setup. Visualize yourself taking successful trades with positive outcomes. And then you'll be surprised when you lose. Some of you guys, as we talked about earlier, you're surprised when you win. Has that ever happened to you? When you trade, you're surprised <laughs> that you won. You're like, man, I got one there. Almost like it's luck. Well, if you feel that way, we've got to rewire you. You should expect to win. You should visualize yourself having positive outcomes. Why? Because a confident trader is more likely to execute their trading plan with discipline and conviction. So what are the three steps? What are the three points we've discussed as it pertains to visualization and mental rehearsal? Number one, preparing for trading sessions. Each session you sit down, take a few moments, sit quietly, visualize yourself being focused in a calm state, executing trades with a clear mind, identifying potential opportunities, being calm, right? See yourself doing that. Number two, visualize your goals and achievements. See yourself reaching your trading goals, becoming successful over time, rehearsing these things in your mind. It'll give you a sense of purpose. You'll, it'll help you move through those challenging periods. Remember, we talked about Kobe being injured and how he saw himself back on the court, overcoming adversity through visualization, staying calm under pressure, right? Developing that Mamba mentality, how he mentally prepared before games, right? And then the third point was what? Building confidence. Visualization can boost your self-confidence. You're going to imagine yourself executing these trades and the outcome is going to be positive. So much so that now you are surprised when you lose, not surprised when you win. Why? Because confidence is key to trading, right? Helping you stick to your disciplines. You'll do that if you have confidence and you have conviction. It's essential for traders to incorporate visualization into their regular routines and to practice it consistently. Now, it, it can be a powerful tool, no doubt about it. The mind is the strongest muscle. You've got to work it. It doesn't replace skill development. It should complement other aspects of trading, like market analysis, pre-market prep, the core training, the things that we talk about in training 0 to 4.5, Using the DAC, risk management, and continuous education, being plugged into and subscribed to Tier 3 Killer Wells Access. However, by combining visualization with a comprehensive approach to trading, will traders can enhance their mental edge and potentially improve everything else along with it. Remember this, though. Visualization without action is delusion. You can hope, you can try to manifest, you can dream, but if you don't take action, you won't get there. In effect, I want you to develop the Mamba mentality when it comes to day trading. This has been our Mindset Mondays. The topic, visualization and mental rehearsal. How traders can use visualization techniques to mentally prepare and trade uh, for trading scenarios and improve performance. Now, you've got a couple questions to ask yourself. All right. How am I going to put this into practice? Do I really believe what this guy is talking about or am I just going to you know, flounder for the next couple of years? Now, you can do what you want to do. I've always kept it straight with you. But you better believe people who are moving 70, 80, 100 million and billions of dollars. You better believe they visualize themselves operating at that level at one point so that they are comfortable and ready to receive the accountability and the rewards that come with moving that type of income or capital in the market. Trading can be difficult, but it doesn't have to be all the time. It starts with the mind. This is our Mindset Mondays. It's been a pleasure. Let's get back to the market. KD, signing out.